Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm going to be testing Black on PlayStation 2, the PCSX2 emulator that advanced quite a bit in the past few years. So on the Steam Deck we're using EmuDeck to install the emulator, then the ROMs, all up to you on how to get them. So system, sorry, settings, we go to interface. Mm, I chose to start at full screen, then in emulation. I kept it like this. Graphics. We're going to do 1080p on this one. So it's 800p, but we get an extra crisp image. Widescreen patches. We're doing 16x9. 16x10 is not available. And uh, yeah, rendering three times native, so around 1080p. Full mip maps, bilinear, two linear, egg times anisotropic. Dithering, I'd said off. Blending accuracy, we put it on high, and no texture replacement, but you can if you have them. Post processing, you can add an FXAA sharpening or a shader, a TV shader, if you're interested. Then on the on screen display, this will show the game speed and all that, and recording is if you want to record videos with this. Audio, it's just like this, and that's basically it. So you press on close and you double tap on the game, in this case black. And I have a save state to <laughs> avoid the entire cinematic that is like five to seven minutes at the start. So I have a save state. And here we are. So at the top right corner, this game, if you guys didn't know, is at um, right now it's at 1080p. But what I was trying to say here is that it's 30 FPS natively on PlayStation 2. So at the top right corner, you can see that it says G29.98. That's the frame rate and the resolution as well. And at the same time, we're going to put the Steam Deck's own statistics, which you'll notice it says 60 FPS. And you might say, whoa, what do you mean by 60 FPS? Well, 60 FPS is not actually 60 in this case. It's actually 30 because the game natively on PS2 is 30 FPS. So 60 in this case, it means 100% game speed. So it's being emulated as, as it should. But as you can see, it's 16 by 9. It has black bars at the top and bottom, but that's to be expected. <laughs> so yeah, let's continue. This game has a very heavy... Input latency, it happened the same thing on the PlayStation 2. I remember that this game was very hard for me to control when it comes to aiming. So I recommend you lower the, the sensitivity of the stick, the Steam Deck controls. But as you can see, we don't have the same bug as before with the sky being black. And the depth of field is still there. We don't lose pieces of the, of the gun when we're reloading. So yeah, it's a great way to play the game in my opinion, and we're not using a lot of resources. I'm also using the Vulcan option on the emulator, not sure if I showed you that. And something very important, if you want to quit out of the game, press start and select on the Steam Deck, like this. And you can save the stage to come back. Alright, so continuing on. Again, the, work, the game works fantastically well. It, I'm still impressed on how visually good it looks for a PlayStation 2 game. This game is from Criterion, the people behind Burnout, and now they're just making the same racing games over and over, which is a shame. I don't think it's 100% perfectly emulated in a way that it comes to graphics. Oh yeah, but it's a great game, one of my favorites from the PlayStation 2 era and you can play it on Steam Deck as long as you have the ROM and the PlayStation 2 BIOS shouldn't be an issue Let's go shotgun Also, it's a very hard game in the later levels The first level is not so bad, but you have a health bar, you have 
First aid kits. Alright. So I think it's time to show you how it looks on the smaller screen because again we're playing this upscale to 1080p. So that means that we're using like twice native resolution. We're at 1920 by 1344. So it should look super crisp on the Steam Deck screen. So one sec, let's swap into handheld. Now we are on handheld. I'm going to reload my save state. And remember, 6 FPS here means full speed. I don't know why in handheld I get those spikes in the frame time. Not sure if that's true or just a bad reading. But the frame rate at the top, at the top right corner from the emulator says we're at over 59 all the time. Doesn't seem to be an issue. But the game looks great. I mean, super crisp. I'm talking about a PS2 game. And I'm about to die. Grab a health kit. Destroy the evidence. Oh man, I wish we had a sequel for this. It got cancelled. And now Criterion is only making racing games again. I should test Burnout Paradise. But as for PS2 emulation, this is completely fine. You can notice, even with the explosions on screen. One. And it's 1080p. Upscale to 1080p, so we're actually getting um, a very crisp image on the smaller screen. Where's that tower? Oh, probably the other way. Oh yeah, there's there's a rocket launcher guy. Come on, explode! Oof, I'm so dead. And I forgot the button for. <laughs> <laughs> the grenade. There we go. Alright. He's gone. I think he was up there. Yep. There he is. Now we're talking. Completely gone. Alright. But I'm probably going to die now, which is good. But man, the game is so hard to control with the the aiming feels so heavy. But it was like this on PlayStation 2 as well. It was never a snappy game. It was more of a heavy heavy feeling game. So you gotta get used to it. I always love this part because you get a uh, an RPG. Where's the RPG? I think I forgot to grab it somehow. Oh, it's on the other side. I'm an idiot. Okay. Because there was a part over here where you grab a rocket launcher and you just... There we go. Look at this. Look at all the windows that I can break. See those windows full of enemies? All windows reduced to atoms. But it's such a legendary game in my opinion. I wish they kept using all this stack for... well, I mean, it's renderware, I think. 
I wish Criterion made more shooters. Just to be a destructible thing with focus on destruction like they do with Burnout. That would be amazing. And this is especially impressive for a PlayStation 2. So if you were missing this game from the past, like I was, you can play it on Steam Deck without an issue. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did going back through memory lane. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Code of War 1 and 2 coming as well.